Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. It does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before you we get into the uh, picks for the NBA for May the 2nd of 2021. I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section, which has all the great tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at the first game. Here are lots of games on tap. First game we want to look at is the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Nets are averaged down at the moment. They have won their last three and three out of their last six. The Bucks are burning hot. They have won their last game and three out of their last four and three out of their last six. Both teams are battling the 76ers for the top spot in the Eastern Conference. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that the Nets have a plus 28 to plus 27 advantage. In head to head matchup, it was a very close game last time on January the 18th with the Nets winning by two points as a home underdog. If you're considering the over or under bet in this game, you can see that Brooklyn is trending in games over the line, Milwaukee trending in games under the line, so it's best to avoid the over or under in that scenario. You're looking at the, how consistent the two teams have been, you see that both teams have been consistent, the Bucks more so at plus 22 to plus 13. That means they're more consistently performing according to the favorite and underdog status. If you're looking at the Z codes, Scores predictor, you see that the Bucks are predicted to win by a narrow margin 105 102 with 85 percent confidence. So he has some really good confidence in this one, and I think that the scores predictor is going to be accurate. I believe that the Bucks will win in a very tight game. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the next game the Portland Trailblazers and Boston Celtics. Portland is seventh in the Western Conference, and the Celtics are sixth in the Eastern Conference. Boston is burning hot at the moment. You can see that they just won their last game. Been only two out of their last six, though. Portland is ice cold down. Even though they've won their last two, they lost their four previous games. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Boston has a plus 14 to plus 12 edge in that category. Head to head matchup, Boston won by a very narrow margin, as narrow as it can come, as a matter of fact, by a 116 115 score as a road underdog back on April the 13th. If you're considering the over and under bet, you see that Portland is playing in games trending well under the line. Boston is playing in games trending over the line. Probably avoid betting the over under. Maybe bet the under because of how far under Portland has been. Look at the consistency factor. How stable have the two teams been? Both around the same uh, number here at plus 13 for Portland and plus 12 for Boston. So they're consistently performing according to their favorite and underdog status. You want to see about who you think might win this game. You're not so sure. Well, take a look at this Z Coach Scores Predictor to help you. You can see if you look down through the game, Boston and Portland, that there's a 77% confidence for Boston to win by a narrow three point margin. And that would be very consistent with what happened last time. I believe that will be the case here. I think the Celtics will win and cover. Now, we'll take a look at the next game. Miami and Charlotte, we're not going to look at that one. New York Knicks and Houston Rockets. We're going to take a look at this one. The Knicks have been the hottest team in the league right now. They are burning hot. They have won five out of the last six. Houston is dead at the moment with the worst record in the NBA, and they have lost five out of their last six. The Knicks are now fourth in the Eastern Conference. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Knicks are all the way up here at plus 22, and Houston is down at zero. If you look at head-to-head -head matchups, it was a blowout win for the Knicks in the last meeting, 121-99, to as a slight home underdog back on February the 13th. The totals predictor, considering the over and under, the Knicks are playing in games trending well over the line. Houston also over the line. Expect this to be a high, higher scoring game with the over coming into play. But what's interesting about that, because if you look at what the scores predictor shows, Houston and New York, here we go. New York 102 to 97, which is a low scoring game with confidence prediction of 66%.
So you might want to reconsider the over under because this shows definitely under. The total predictor is kind of indicating over. So I would probably avoid betting the over under in this one. You look at the uh, volatility oscillator, the Houston Rockets have been very consistent at plus 25, and so the Knicks have been at plus 19. Houston is at home, but they are very bad. There's no two ways about it. They're going to be a home underdog, and the Knicks will continue to roll and win this game and cover the spread. The 76ers are back on track after losing four. They are now burning hot, winners of their last two in blowout fashion. The Spurs are ice cold down. They lost their last game, even though they've won four out of their last six. The 76ers are battling the Nets for top spot in the Eastern Conference. You see on the power rankings indicator, they hold a plus 21 to plus 19 edge over the Spurs in that category. In a head-to-head -head matchups for this season, the 76ers won by 35 points back on March 14th as a home favorite. If you're considering the over and under in this matchup, the Philadelphia 76ers are playing in games trending under the line, as is the Spurs. So here's a good indication that this will be a lower scoring game. Well, what does the Aziz scores predictor show? Well, let's see. Uh, if we look at this, you see that they're predicting Philadelphia by a 102 to 91 by a 55.79% confidence. So just a little bit more than a flip of a coin. I believe that that's just more for the score. I think the 76ers have a better than 50% chance of winning the game. It's just a matter of what the score is going to be. If you look at the volatility oscillator, how consistent have the two teams been? Philadelphia is extremely consistent. It's at plus 28, among the most consistent in the league, and San Antonio is at plus 7. Even though the Sixers are on the road, and when they are healthy, they are one of the top teams in the league. And I believe that they will win this game and cover the spread. Sacramento and Dallas, Toronto and the Lakers. This is the last game that we're going to look at. The Raptors are on the outside looking in for the playoffs, and the Lakers are fifth in the Western Conference. Los Angeles is average at the moment, losers of four out of their last six games. The Raptors are ice cold up. They have lost two out of their last three and won four out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Lakers have a plus 20 to plus 8 advantage. A very strong difference there. If you're considering the over and under in this game, Toronto playing in games trending under the line, Lakers playing in games trending over the line, that's usually an indication for me to avoid betting the over and under. How consistent have the two teams been? If you look at this, well, again, the Lakers are extremely more consistent at plus 28. This is a good indication to bet the Lakers in this one because they will be a home favorite. It's just a matter of what we think the score is going to be. Well, let's take a look. If you look here at the bottom, we have the Lakers at 106 to 102, a four point win with a pretty strong 78% confidence. So now it's just a matter of taking a look at what the, uh, the point spread is going to be that has not yet been posted. I believe, though, that the Lakers will be favored by more than four points. So if they are favored by more than four points, take Toronto. If they're favored by less than four points, take the Lakers. So there you have it. Those are all the games for this week. We're getting down to the home stretch. The NBA games should get very exciting from here on out as we head to the playoffs. So hope you enjoy the games. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.